Higher by Avenged Sevenfold, which is one of my favorite songs from the new album. I'm so excited! And uh, today I thought we could talk about the tapping part in the chorus, which is so fun to play and it's a really, really good practicing exercise uh, because you have this ridiculous um, stretch in the playing hand. So that's what we're going to talk about today and uh, yeah, let's just keep talking. So we are in drop D, uh, but you are technically not using the lowest D string. So if you're just practicing the tapping thing, uh, you can be in standard tuning. So yeah, it's awesome. So let's play and then talk about it. playing hand so you're not using your picking hand to actually pick this note it's actually just hammered on without without this one interfering and then you have a little stretch to the eighth fret so you have five eight and then you tap uh, on the twelfth fret of the D string and you can choose uh, which one you like to tap with the most um, I like to tap with uh, this finger <laughs> Uh, because it's uh, easier when you are holding a guitar pick, you're holding it between these if you're not Van Halen and you hold it like this. Yeah, you hold it like this! Uh, and when you tap with this finger, you don't have to like sort of get rid of the guitar pick while you're tapping if you're used to just tap with this one because you can hold the guitar pick uh, without having to sort of throw it away and get a new one when you're starting to play again. So, yeah. But it's a personal preference sort of thing, but I tap with this finger. So, you have five, eight, and then 12, and that goes five times. So you're, you're counting this 12th note, you're counting that uh, five times. Uh, and then you have you have this sort of dead note or so, it's not technically dead because it's ringing out, uh, but that is an open, an open D string, so, uh, because you're starting off uh, with, with the next one, you're starting it not on the tapping note itself, you're starting it on the um, fourth fret of the D string, so you need something to sort of jump in and out of these um, tapping licks or so. Uh, so now your second round is the fourth fret of the D string with the seventh fret of the D string and you tap on the twelfth one once again and that goes five times as well. So now those two together dead note again even though you are jumping on to a new string the dead note is still on your D string so uh, so that will be and now you have uh, you have 5 8 12 on the G string so you're just using the same pattern as you had on the D string but you're changing the string uh, so 5, 8, 12 on the G string, 5 times. And then you have a dead note again, but this time it's on the G string. And then you play 3, 7, 12, and this is one of the big stretches. 3, 7, and then 12, you have quite a few frets in between here. Uh, and that goes five times as well. And then you have a dead note once again. So on the G string you now have... And then you play 3, 8, 12. 
So the uh, big stretch is getting even more ridiculous. Um, but uh, that goes five times as well. And then you have a dead note once again on the G string. So together the whole tapping thing. It's 
so cool.